All right, everybody, welcome back to another video on this episode of putting expensive things on not expensive things. We talk about the Zeiss Master Anamorphics on the Fuji X-H2S. You might be asking yourself why we're doing this. Well, because why the f not? So, we had these Zeiss lenses laying around and we graciously had this Fuji X-H2S donated to us for this shoot from Glazers in Seattle and wanted to see just what it looks like. I've heard great things about this Fuji X-H2S sensors, seen a lot of great images, but sadly for me as a shooter, I don't use a lot of mirrorless anymore, um, just due to client size, etc. So thought it would be fun to go pick up this Fuji and throw a PL mount on it and go shoot some fun stuff and see what all the hype's about. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, for this episode, keep in mind that uh, like the news anymore, this is all opinion based, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I really do love the Zeiss Anamorphics and I thought it'd be a perfect lens set to pair with this Fuji because of the sensor size and some of its uh, video capability, 6K and ProRes. Thought we could get a pretty good image out of it and kind of just wanted to test the viability of cutting this camera with some other cameras uh, out like C500s, Alexa Minis, all of that kind of stuff. So. We strapped these on to this and walked out and shot some footage as well as did some stuff in the studio to kind of get some results and see what we like. So let's talk about the Master Anamorphics. I personally love these lenses and I think the character of these lenses is that they are so neutral. And because they are so neutral and perform so well, they really do react incredibly well to things like filtration. Single filter in front immediately changes the look of the entire lens. And because of that, it is really easy to have a neutral base and take them kind of anywhere you wanna go. Do you wanna add some barrel distortion in post? We did, you'll see it. Do you want to throw some softening, some blooming of the highlights? We did it, it's gonna be fun to see. It's really a great starting place uh, with these lenses to do whatever you want. And the fact that they're sharp edge to edge wide open means if you're doing stuff for multiple deliverables, say a one by one extraction for Instagram, you can use the whole image left to right pull wherever you want and you're not gonna be worried about softness or weird artifacts or anything like that. So, Master Anamorphics, great place to start. We wanted to play with them a little bit, so there you go. Now, moving on to the Fuji X-H2S. I've seen some really great stuff and seen some really great tests online that say this sensor looks great. So, let's check it out. After playing with it, in our, we shot 6K, I think 24 frames a second in ProRes 422 HQ. I gotta say, it looks crazy good. Now, it almost looks so good that I wish this was not a mirrorless camera. I wish this sensor was in a proper video camera because after examining the footage, I will go out and I will be on the plank and I will say that without a doubt, I think that this sensor so far of all the stuff I've worked with to date has the best looking out of camera grain structure bar none. Didn't matter what we did, it just reacted so well to noise. There's no color. It's just like very textural movement that feels very, very organic in a way that honestly, I don't think I've seen before without putting post-production grain onto footage. So out of camera, this thing looks great. And to be honest, I am very, very, very impressed with the skin tones that uh, are coming out of the Fuji as well. I think the only downside with this camera that I've had so far is that it's a mirrorless camera. Really wish this was in a video camera. It'd be like very hard for me at this stage of my career to take this on set unless it cut together well with another camera and it was just something that was going to live on say a gimbal or be maybe a third camera on a tripod lock off somewhere, um, which is really unfortunate because there are some really great things that this camera does from a video aspect, not to mention it takes incredible stills. I shoot all my personal stuff on a Fuji X-T5 and I absolutely love it. And I don't think I'll ever change systems after getting so familiar with Fuji. I just love everything I can do with that camera. So together, amazing combination of camera and lenses. 
I think they look great. If you've got a small budget, but you wanna have more options in post, and you are working with mirrorless, try something a little more expensive from a lens perspective. Throw a PL mount. We got this PL mount from uh, DZO. We have it here at the shop, and it's really great. Throw a PL mount on your Fuji and go to town. It's a great combo. The footage looks great. Overall, very happy with this. And again, thanks to Glazer's Camera in Seattle. If you are thinking about buying a Fuji X-H2S, hit up Glazer's Camera. They'll help you out, always take care of you. And with that, that is our tiny little episode. And if you haven't liked or subscribed yet, please do. We're always putting out more content. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.